Hi folks, uh, in my video uh, or uh, in my channel, YouTube channel, in the past I prepared uh, several uh, problems uh, uh, where parameterization is involved. In other words, a solid model is related, the, dimension, the dimensions of a solid model are related to some parameters, and then some formulas are expressed uh, which drive these parameters. Now, I would like to do the similar type of problem, except that the, the, the relationship between these parameters and the, the geometry is not as straightforward. In fact, it involves conditional if statement. However, to begin the problem, to begin, the, to begin this video, I will actually prepare a very simple problem, namely these, uh, this, this block with a pocket in it, and the dimensions that are driving this are uh, L, W, H, D, and R. Okay, later on, after I do this problem, remind you how to do it, then we'll come back and uh, uh, repeat the same problem where there are certain conditions set. For example, if L is bigger than 5 and W is bigger than 6 inches, then the radius is given by an expression and the height of the pocket, depth of the pocket is given by a different expression. But to begin with, we do this simple one. All right, so let's actually create uh, five parameters of size, uh, of type uh, uh, length. Let's see now, where is f of x? Right there. So let's filter these things so that we can only see the length parameters and right here. Everything else is filtered out. All right, so uh, first parameter, we we'll call it L. And let's give it a nominal dimension of, uh, let's say, five, uh, 5. 5. Uh, apply. Uh, another one, uh, let's call it uh, W. Again, nominal dimension of 5. Well, let's make it 6. Okay. Another one, the, the height of the block. Height. Let's make it uh, wrong, wrong place. Here. Height. Let's make it 1. Apply the radius, big R. And let's make that thing, I don't know, 0 0.5 perhaps. Finally, the depth of this pocket, D. E, and let's give it the value 0.3. Okay. Apply. And okay. So these parameters are showing in my tree. And... Uh, well, I've already discussed how to make these parameters show up. So you, uh, okay, so you go to tools, options, uh, tools, options uh, on their infrastructure, infrastructure product uh, or part infrastructure, select the display tab, and you make sure that the parameters and relations, the equations that we're going to set there are, are all checked. Okay, good. Now, now we're going to create our formula. So uh, let us click, click, click on f of x, okay, and click on the pad. The, the dimensions that were specified in the pad when I sketched it are shown here. So remember, this 5 and 6 is the stuff that I dimensioned in my sketch, okay? Uh, so let's uh, select this, and we say add a formula equal to... Let's say uh, L. Okay. Select this one. Add a formula. Uh, make it uh, a W. Select the height, part of the height of the pad. Add a formula equal to H. Uh, and now to get the radius, I have to select the pocket because I sketched. Uh, this thing on the top face. So here is the radius, uh, the formula. There is the radius of the pocket. So it's going to be R. And finally, the height of the pocket or the depth of the pocket, right there. Uh, the formula equal to B. All right, good. And apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to change the parameter. And you will see that uh, uh, here are the, the relationships. I don't want to see them. Uh, here is L. So let's make L uh, 8. Notice that it changes. W, let's make it 3. Changes. 
h is the height of the path to uh, this is the radius, let's make it 1, and the depth of the pad, let's make it uh, 3, so it goes all the way through, right, right there. Alright, so this is a straightforward problem. Now, what I would like to do is uh, uh, go to a situation where, depending on the values of L and W that you specify, the, the, the radius and the depth of the uh, the depth of the pocket are different, okay? So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I will delete uh, all these relationships. All these relationships I delete. All right. Now, these things I can leave it here. There is no problem. You still have to create your parameters and you, uh, you know, they're displayed there. Uh, by the way, what I'm going to show you is not the only way of doing this problem. There may be other ways, there are other ways, and they may be taking shorter, but uh, this is the way I'm uh, pre preparing this video clip. Okay, so what we have to do is to basically write a simple program. In Katia, writing a program is sometimes referred to as a rule. So to write a rule, I go to knowledge, uh, knowledge where, uh, start knowledge where, knowledge advisor, and you click on uh, this icon, you see this, it says if, x, y, you click on it, uh, I'll say my rule, or uh, my uh, rule today, rule today, okay, so we say all right, and uh, we're going to start our uh, code. Uh, let me bring this, uh, well, uh, I hope that you took a note. Uh, the, uh, the, the PowerPoint said that if, uh, if L is bigger than 5, inches, you have to put the unit, otherwise units will not be consistent, and, and W is bigger than 6 inches, then execute the next two lines. The next two lines, because there's, I'm going to write on separate lines, uh, you have to put it in braces. You're going to put it in braces. So the braces, these things are all available here if you don't know. So if you go to keywords, you see that here's a brace. Okay? But you can use the same thing from your uh, keypad. So right there. There. And obviously when this happens, I want R to be equal to L over 5. And hit return to go to the next line. And D, the depth of the, the pocket, is going to be H over 2. And then you close the braces, and then go to the next line. Else, if, now let's see what it says. Uh, if L is bigger than 5 inches, and W is less than six inches, then execute the next two lines. Once again, braces, uh, you want the R, in this situation you want R to be equal to one inch, don't forget to put the inch there, and uh, D, the depth of the pocket, is equal to H, whatever the H is. Okay, close the braces, all right, finally, else, uh, if you look at the, uh, the uh, PowerPoint slide, it says in that situation, R is equal to 0 0.1 inches, and uh, D, the depth of the pocket, is equal to H over 10. Close the braces. All right, so we wrote the rule, assuming that there are no mistakes here. Uh, well, I don't know, we'll find out, okay. 
there were no mistakes. The rule is here. You can always adjust these as you see fit. Okay. So now what we do is we can input the value of L and W. Uh, and then, of course, when we, and, and A. And what happens is that R and D are going to change accordingly. For example, let's make R. Uh, let, me, uh, let me actually change the rendering here so that you can see it better to wireframe. All right. So let's change L to 6, okay, and W to 5, or actually 7. That is the first case. So what happens, the, the radius, the circle should be a fifth of L, which is going to be 1.2, and the, 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 the pad, the pad is going to be half of whatever the value of H is. One inch, okay. So let's see. Okay, and uh, oh, you know what? I just forgot something serious here. Let's go back. I'm really sorry. Go back here. Okay, this is okay. This is fine. But now, how are these things related to my geometry? That's the big thing that I forgot. Okay, so let's see now. Uh, we're gonna say uh, this is a program, and then uh, we're gonna say uh, uh, set. I don't think we need to set this, okay, we just leave it like this. So click on there, so on the pad, so what you want to say is that this is equal to your, uh, uh, I don't know, L. Man, that was a serious mistake. Uh, oops, on the next line, uh, this guy is equal to W. All right. You may have to say set here. If, if it doesn't work, we're going to put a set right above the slide. This is the path of height. Oh, come on. Uh, this is equal to H. Now we want to go to the pocket. Okay, so this is the radius. Oh, okay. okay, so we should write these things on the next line. Uh, this is equal to R. And at the height is right there, I believe it's this. And that's equal to the depth. Yep. Equal to the depth. Now when the program is, is written, let's see if this thing works. Yeah, okay, so let's try it. So uh, L equal to let's change L equal to seven. And W also equal to let's say eight. So the radius of the circle must be L over 5. So uh, 7 over 5 is going to be 1. Uh, uh, 1.4. So let's measure this radius. 1.4. Good. And notice that the, uh, the rule, if you look at it, it says that the depth of the pocket is H over 2. If H is 2, the depth of the pocket is... Uh, uh, should be 1, right? What's the value of h here? h is equal to 2. The depth of the, the depth of the pocket should be 1. So something is wrong in my rule. Let's go back and see what happened here. Uh, let's see now. h over 2. Uh, if it's uh, right, l equal to 5. Okay, so this, uh, this depth does not work correctly, and I have a feeling I know what the issue may be. So let me go to the pocket, and flip the direction, and then say okay. Right. You have to, you have to be careful with this depth, because uh, uh, anyway, as you can see, that, that didn't work the way it was. So I went to the pocket, and I clicked on this, on this arrow, so that it puts it in the proper position, right there. Now you can see that the depth of the pocket is in fact half of a, which is two. So in fact, if I go, for example, and change this thing to four, see the depth of the pocket is still half of a, which means now it's two. Now let's go and change this uh, L uh, from seven, change it to, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four, 
And the rule, if you look at the rule, rule says that if the length L is bigger than four, uh, bigger than five, and obviously we're not there, so it's going to go all the way to the last statement, and it takes the radius to be 0.1. So let's check that. This radius must be 0.1. Yep, you can see that. And the height, height of the pad, and the height of the pad should be uh, each over 10. So uh, 4 over, or no, 4 over 10 is equal to 0.4. The height of the pad should be, uh, well, I guess we can, we can measure from the top to the bottom. So measure from here, measure from here to here, it should be 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Let's do one more. Uh, let's go make one more change so that we execute the, the middle statement. So L bigger than 5. So let's make this thing five. Okay, and uh, w less than six. W less than six. Let's make this thing four. Let's see if it works. Uh, the rule is the rule says if L is bigger than five. So let me change this thing to six then. Right. So if L is bigger than five, that is the case and w is less than 4, and that is also the case, less than 6, w is less than 6, dual is 4, and the radius should be 1, and I bet this radius is 1, yep, and the pad, uh, the depth of the, the pocket is going to be the same as the height of the, the block, which is, uh, which is 4, all right? So if you have complicated situations, then you may have to use uh, rules.